Sally Eslin and the founder of Empowered Clothing. I empower women over 50 to create a conscious and intentional lifestyle on my show, Finding Your Way with Sally Eslin. And hi, everyone. I'm Sally Eslin, and I'm a content creator and a holistically fit specialist. I share authentic and everyday issues for women over 50. So you can learn more about my fashion products and services at empowerclothing.com.au. So today our topic is how to trust your inner GPS with potential and possibilities wellness, Claire Chitty. So just before I bring Claire up from the green room, I thought I'd give her a, a beautiful introduction. So Claire Chitty is an award-winning international best-selling author who's spoken at events that included Bob Doyle, Marcy Shimoff, Ricky Byers and Keith Leon S. She co-authored Navigating the Clickety Clack, How to Live a Peaceful Life in a Seemingly Toxic World, Volume 4. And she's also featured in the book, um, also featured in the book, a New, New York Times best-selling authors, Bob Doyle, Marcy Shimoff from the hit movie The Secret, and Ricky Byers, acclaimed and beloved singer, songwriter in the genre of inspirational new thought music. Woohoo! So Claire has two other books published in February this year. Thoughts Out of My Head, a primary age chapter book on family separation and blended families and Love You, Love Me, which is a young adult novel on mental health and the challenges adolescents may encounter on their journey to adult adulthood with school, peer pressure, friendships and self-harm. So as a passionate author, Claire's philosophy is to entertain, inspire and educate the reader with relatable issues children face growing up, such as change, challenge, resilience, perseverance and patience. She enjoys writing about more confronting themes, Australian bushfires, floods, organ transplant, disability, domestic violence, mental health and child custody, all pre prevalent in today's society. So Claire is also an activator healer coach, a kinesiologist, angel intuitive and early childhood urge educator who believes in building community, helping our youth and children with mental health and contributing to making a positive difference in people's lives. Wow, what a beautiful intro there. Let me just uh, bring up Claire into the green room. So welcome, Claire. Where are we? There we go. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, what a beautiful intro. So you've been a very busy lady, you're an author there. <laughs> oh, I never stop learning. I never stop writing. Life is amazing. Isn't it? We're just like sponges. We just keep yeah. absorbing, absorbing all the good stuff. Oh, absolutely. I can't hear yourself. So today's topic is, oh, you can't hear it, me. It's all right. It's cutting in and out. So that's okay. Okay. Well, it seems fine this end. So we'll just go with it. We'll okay. see how we go. So our topic today is how to trust your inner GPS. So talk to me about how you trust your inner GPS. Okay, so I have a really strong connection with angels and I ask for signs. And signs will always appear, whether it's where I'm picking up a book and reading some words or I hear the words from a song, um, a conversation that I may overhear. There's some of the signs, but more importantly, it's an energy thing. The going within and trusting that gut feeling is the main thing that, and making sure, is this aligning with me? Is this feeling right? Are the red flags? Always questioning and being curious, I think, is the main things. Not accepting mm -hmm. things face value, which is what I used to do, and that would get me into big trouble. Mm -hmm. But now it's, okay, I'm really going within and sitting with it. And I also learn not to make decisions straight away. I think sometimes I need, particularly if it's more complicated, mm -hmm. I need time to let it percolate, sit with it. Is it the right fit for me? And when you go within and listen to that gut, it never, ever leads you astray. But the mind will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. It's just bypassing yeah. the logical mind because the mind is there to protect us. Okay, logically this mm -hmm. makes sense, but the gut often, Often, most of the time, it doesn't make sense. And it's very tricky to start to trust the gut, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's, I don't think it's something 
you can just go, oh, yeah, I can do it. You really have to feel into it, right? You have to sense it. Mm. And that's why I love what you said about letting it percolate, you know, and letting it just sit with you and just go, hmm. The, the, look, it was years ago for me when I started to trust it and I, I then my head would come in and say, no, that's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. And then you'd have to dig deep and trust that gut, gut instinct because mm. it's that or knowing it's just that it's your internal gps so yeah it's a it's yeah. an interesting process but how uh more enriched is your life when you start to trust it more uh just things start to open up and moving beyond fear it's just oh it's a beautiful journey and it's something i highly recommend people do it takes time it's not something that most people come into this world already knowing i think it's a journey and you've got to keep learning and growing mm -hmm. and evolving. And it never stops. It, you've got to keep evolving, basically, and aligning. And I was just reflecting yesterday when I was going through a really challenging time how far I've come because I've learned to sit and to be still and to trust and ask the universe for help too. That sometimes we think we're alone, but mm -hmm. we're not. There's so much support around us. And, um, yeah, I'm certainly not the person I was <laughs> more than a week ago. You know, we just keep changing and that's no, the important no. thing. You know, life is to be lived and enjoyed and not getting caught up with fear and everything that's going on in the world. Yeah, and that whole trust mm -hmm. thing, it is really yeah. tricky to relinquish yeah. control, to let go, just let go and trust and believe that things yeah. will be okay. I think that's one of the biggest hurdles for me was it, it will yeah. be okay, like trust it. Just because, you know, your gut's telling you not to do something and you think, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't make sense. But just trust, trust in the universe, trust that you've they've got our back. And I think I'm the same with you, particularly lately, I'm just like, this isn't making sense where I'm being led internally, but just trust and believe it will be okay and allow the universe to just, you know, take us on this magic carpet, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, my God, some days, hey, you just go, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I don't think a lot of people realise our gut is our third brain. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of people are having issues with their guts because, um, yeah, they're not trusting that. Yeah, oh, it's a really a good, good point. We have three three brains, our head brain, our heart brain, and our gut brain. And our head brain is our thoughts. And our heart brain is our feelings. And uh, the, the gut brain is our energy. It's, it's, that, it's that knowingness, right? It's just that I just know it. You know, when it feels right, that's what that's mm -hmm. what that internal GPS is. It's that gut brain going, yeah. And as you say, you know, 10% of our messages go from our head to our gut. 90% go from our gut to our brain. So it's all the stuff that we're not sure, but that's why we're having gut issues because it doesn't yeah. sit right, you know. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel right in my tummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm having real problems. And look, look at it. Your body talks to you, doesn't it? We talk about this oh, all the time. It certainly it's does. Amazing. Yeah. And coming mm. back to mindfulness is we have to be really mindful of mm. and aware of what we're thinking because our thoughts will create our emotions. Our emotions will cause our physical issues in our body. And um, when people present with a specific condition, you know straight away what they're dealing with. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when the body is screaming at you and you're not yeah. listening, you know, that's when illness happens rather than wellness. Yeah. So when you start trusting the gut more, listening to it and just really trusting that it's leading you on the right path, you're stepping more into wellness. And I think, yeah, as you said, mindfulness is so important because you can't change what you don't know. So mm. be very mindful of what you're thinking, the thoughts you're putting into your head, you know, the choices that you're making, the actions that you're taking, that sort of thing. So mm. part of your, uh, you come along today with one of your empowerment shares on part of your journey. So you were introduced to Louise Hay, the queen of affirmations. Oh, I love <laughs> affirmations. <laughs> In 1988, like, you know, so many people couldn't even remember <laughs> back to that. So where you resonated and something in you was activated, and I love that word activated. So mm. how our thoughts create our reality and how we can heal ourselves. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I was living and working in London and I was introduced to this um, beautiful book, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay. 
Mm-hmm. And she's been such an inspirational for millions of people around the world. And I was also fortunate enough to meet her. But more, more importantly, when I read that, um, that yes, our body is screaming out to us, you know, people will say, oh, oh, my bad back. And I say to them, how about you change your words with your back instead of focusing on the pain that's there, actually loving your, bo- your back and what the back represents, mm. which is often lower back is financial. And many people have lower back issues. And um, mm-hmm. everything just started from that moment on. Everything in my life started to expand. I was guided to study color and massage and all these other modalities. And I love, and it, it comes back to you know being mindful of what we're thinking and what we're creating all the time because every second, our choices, our decisions, our thoughts are creating our future. And um, when mm. Louise, um, when I received that book from Louise, it was like, oh, my God, this is it. This is a big key to my life and to my future. My whole life changed because of that one book. So, yeah. Oh, that's so funny because it, my turning point was Louise Hayes' uh, weekend retreats called You oh, Can yes. Do It. And, um, and out of that I got straight into her book, Heal Your Body, and it was like you it was my first introduction into really understanding that the body is talking to us and we start to listen to where our illness is really coming from and our lower back how often is that you know unsupported financially all that sort of stuff and when you start to tune into your body and you know listen to the messages it's trying to tell us then we can work with it to create more of the wellness um yeah it's, and p- affirmations are so powerful because that's you know it's where your attention goes your energy flows so if you're stepping into it like you can do it or you you do choose to trust trust your internal gps yeah. trust the universe trust that you can do it that you are worthy so powerful when you really start to step in and believe it believe all 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 of these things absolutely and they're not just words there's actually you've got to make that um choice because it and a lot of people don't like change you know change is too hard it's the unknown it's the fear and all that but change is what will get us through what we're dealing with basically and choosing the right you know trusting that intuition okay trusting that gut okay what is the best choice i can make for myself at this moment in time because our choices will always change and um yeah it's um being self-empowered and being responsible too i think is really really vital yeah we've and, been talking about that a lot like responsibility and ownership you know owning the stuff yeah. because every day it is about your choices and you can choose to see things in a positive way or a negative way you choose your thoughts your words everything and words are energy and it's very very powerful i with my kids growing up i never let them say the word hate i said that's too strong a word strongly dislike possibly but never hate it's just the energy and that is so low level right you know love all this joy you know all the bright light words and so when you're using these affirmations with these powerful lighter words it's they are so um they amplify your energy and your intention yeah it's once you get your head around words and the energy and intentions whoa life-changing yeah. oh it does because it's all a frequency as you said it's all an energy and that's really mm-hmm. important and, you know i will pick up people when they're saying something negative or when you're in for example on the supermarket and some and you ask them the cashier how are you oh i'm not bad and i always will pick them up on that saying no you're not bad you're actually amazing and beautiful and wonderful and the look on their face it's like what no one's really said that to me before (laughs) it's fascinating and um yeah if we can each do our own little bit in this world we will make this an incredible world yeah yeah absolutely there's you know there's i always say you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's where change comes from because we've been so conditioned with the negativity the negative you know the debbie downer oh how are you oh yeah you know i've got this and i've got that yeah well we all do (laughs) but you know what is the lighter side of life because who wants to hear someone complaining and down all the time like you know it's you react to that so 
you know, you you know when you're in a room and someone's really they're bubbly and they're energetic and you know they everyone's got stuff going on, but it's a choice. Do I choose to tell the world that you know all my problems, or I choose to the world say to the world, you know what, I'm I'm more empowered than that, and I'm dealing with life, and you know we're all going through stuff. I think mm. COVID was an example of that. We could choose to see it in a really negative way because <laughs> there was lots of negatives, like we're both you know. <laughs> Um, or we could see some of the positives, you know, like, you know, you could stay at home. It was family. For me, back to nature. And I think both of us are very aligned with that. How important is is that getting back to basics? Uh, it's just the best. We don't need all this material stuff. Going out or having a walk beside the ocean is so mm -hmm. healing. And it's gifting time for yourself mm -hmm. and reconnecting with that powerful energy of nature. And, oh, it's it's the best. Absolutely. And, yeah, COVID did have its uh, challenges for many of us, but um, it was also a perfect time to to rethink and reevaluate what was going on in the world and what do I want to do for myself? How am I going to change the world? You know, coming back to that personal responsibility and that mindfulness and trusting yeah. where you're going to be led next. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And that leads into your expert tip that you've brought along today. Mindfulness that we were talking about before is a skill that needs to be mastered in order to create a life of our dreams through intention, focus and trust. Do you want to talk about that? Your beautiful tip? <laughs> <laughs> well, yep, it comes down to I think every now and again just stopping when the world's getting really busy and stuff's going on and oh well, just stopping. What am I thinking? What am I creating? Because I'm thinking I'm creating all the time. I'm creating. So, okay, my intention, what do I then want to create? Okay, so we've all got our hopes, dreams, goals. And, okay, this is what I'm focusing on. This is what I'm, my intention is. And sitting with it, working with the energy, the vibration, um, but doing it with joy, I think, too. Sometimes when we do affirmations, um, it becomes rote. There's no feeling or emotion in it. But when we do it with love and with intention and with energy, it amplifies it and attracts us what we want to create in our life so much more because the universe will always send us abundance. Abundance can mean the of the good and it can also mean the abundance of liberty. So, again, we've talked about trust a number of times. It's just setting the intention of what you want to create, letting go of control and trusting that the universe yeah. will deliver. But when I do an affirmation, I always, on the end, and Louise Hay taught me this, is always add this or something better because our minds are really contained. So like, okay, yeah. universe, this is what I've requested. Please deliver it. And trust me, the universe will deliver multiple amazing more than I, my little human brain can imagine so yeah trust yeah which, trust and it links into your title you know possibilities yeah. and potential because it's all there we're only limited by our imagination yeah. right so when you surrender let go and just say this or something better I do exactly the same yeah. thing as all of my manifesting because I don't want to limit myself to what's out there just because I can't think of it and once again yeah. as you're saying it's what signal are we putting out because that's what we're going yeah. to Bring back in so make sure it's a positive you're really feeling into it because if it's half assed you're going to get a half assed response right so <laughs> <laughs> absolutely all, all in right Let's go all in and yep. say yep that's it baby and psh, throw it out there and <laughs> surrender relinquish control yep. and just allow to receive just come back in I always like to equate it to having a glass of water and if the glass is full yeah. you can't receive so you've got to release something out so that it can then re be returned so let go of the stuff that you're putting out to the universe let go of the stuff you don't need to hang on to anymore like drama judgment blah 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 all those negative energies and just allow the universe to fill your cup fill up your glass yeah. with all the stuff <laughs> beautiful oh, analogy man. Yeah, and definitely have fun doing it too, you know. Yes. You know, yeah, I, I yeah. believe in like dancing and singing and movement and, you know, being creative yes. instead of going, yeah. oh, I really like to create this. It's like, no, let's let's put some really positive energy behind it. And these are not just words. Yeah. This is actually putting stuff into action because yeah. words are words. And feeling into it. 
Yeah. It's feeling into it. It's the energy again. It's the frequency. It's the vibration, yeah. you know, really tapping into that because the more you can feel it and just believe that you've already got it, right, that's part yeah. of manifesting is when you're a master creator, it's it's visualising it. Oh, I've already got it. Oh, thank you, universe. The gratitude too, right? They're yeah. higher level um, <laughs> energies. And once again, what you put out, you receive. So if you're putting out good vibes at a really high level, man, you're going to receive that. And how good does it feel on the other side? <laughs> yes, gratitude. Yeah, that's another main point of just, yeah, thank you. I've already received it. Yeah. And, you know, it just, it's, it's, oh, I'm going to say it's like a cycle of, you know, it definitely is let go, surrender, trust, and great gratitude. Yeah. yeah They're the main words. Remember. Okay. Yeah, trust, believe, and allow, and yeah. and just have that gratitude because it's so high level. It's such a high frequency. It's fantastic because it goes with positivity. Gratitude, right? Negativity goes with the fear. Yeah. But uh, yeah, stay positive, mm. right? Always look on the brighter side of life. Yeah. <laughs> so that leads into tying in very nicely the theme of today: trusting. Right, mm. links in with the clothing that we've got here. Yeah. So this Yay. is the third eye chakra mm -hmm. and um, and it's all about trusting, right? And it's sort of that indigo mm -hmm. or navy blue. I choose to trust. I've got on the racer back behind me or on the larger ones here, um, you know, I, uh, seeing with clarity, focus and purpose. So it's trusting that inner guidance, your intuition, instinct in your gut and having a laser clear vision, staying focused and on track and uh, have meaning and purpose. So I've got them in beautiful candles with the um, crystals in them and the little rice back. Oh, yeah, they're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Can I say something, Sel? I have watched yeah. your journey from when you receive this download to watching your manufacturing your process, and it has been the most stunning um, process, but how you trusted and went with that too. It's just been beautiful. Uh, that, exactly. I got this. I, I put it out to the universe and I said, you know, it just downloaded Empower Clothing. Who would have thought, you know, a personal trainer turning into like a fashion designer, but it was just somewhere where people could step more powerfully into their own energy because every day we've been talking about choices and, you know, you choose what you want to put on. So if you dress more powerfully every day, you know, choosing with the intention to tap into that knowing, you know, I choose to trust. It's so powerful. But, you know, I'm very, very excited because on top of all of this journey, I've been working with you and you've produced these amazing range of sprays, like incredible. And so do you want to talk a little bit about the sprays and how you came to, to put those together? <laughs> okay. So um, when after I... You know, I found Louise Hayes' book. I went into essential oils and colour and all of that. So I'd play around with making cosmetics and um, clearing sprays and things like that. You know, it was half-hearted. And then, um, oh, probably 12 months ago, I was just driving along and I connected with a another guy that popped in and um, she started giving me information about these bottles. So I sat down, I went home, sat down, started writing all this information and they came out. So first of all, um, oh, I think it was the sacred geometry with, that were the first ones to come through. Then, and right. this happened over a couple of days, and then I got the clarity and cleanse. No, sorry, the <laughs> oh, God, I can't remember what they are. Clarity and focus, clear and cleanse. And um, yep. then I had sprays for women come through that was really fascinating so when women get overwhelmed and or well, they're about to lose their stuff and um calming them down yep and then the children's came through and when i was doing the children's spray that was amazing fairies and unicorns and ah oh, amazing beautiful gentle energies came through it was absolutely fascinating process so They've got crystals in them. They've got sacred geometry. They've got um, frequencies, and they're really, really powerful. They blow me away, and um, yeah, I've, I feel very blessed and to be able to create them. And I've been told that they need to get out in the world, and yeah, um, yeah that's what. Thank you, Sally. We're doing, and um, yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they've been really popular. Yeah. The clearing cleanse. The and focus and you've got a gratitude one yeah. too and um, but I, I really love the, the 
all the range, you know, sprays for mums going through stuff and sprays yeah. for kids because kids are so sensitive, particularly these yeah. days, and they they smell nice. I use them with all of my clients online as well as in person, and it just, you know, it's energy, right? And it's just... Yeah. Particularly with what they're infused with, the, you know, once you go behind the scenes and, you know, it's not just clearing your auras and emotions, it's just oh. getting to that deep level. Because once again, their frequencies, their vibrations, they're working with you. So, you know, so super powerful. Mm. <laughs> and you. you're so clever. And they're so, and they're made with love. I've got to say, you can yeah. feel it in the sprays. It's just something that it's hard to explain until you're actually using it. You oh. can feel how much you've put into it. So, yeah, I mm -hmm. highly recommend people reach out. We've got them down the bottom on the screen there. Wow. They're so made. They're not mass production. It takes, and it's a process to do them too. So, yeah, there's so much in there. Yeah. Yeah, handmade with love, that is for sure. <laughs> so that's almost bringing us to the end of our um, show today, Claire. I'm just so mm -hmm. grateful for you to come on and share all of your wisdom. We're talking this, uh, we're, we're singing from the same hymn book, baby. And um, <laughs> all that we can talk about these these things, you know, it's time for people to really step up and, and take that ownership and responsibility and create the lives that they're choosing because yeah. once you do start to trust and you know it gets easier as we've said but trust believe and allow that yeah. you are worthy yeah. that you can create this life of your dreams you know it's it's magic that can unfold and both of us uh you know <laughs> can uh, sort of I'm living examples of what we've been mm -hmm. able to create because Absolutely. you know you have dreams coming through, and these sprays are amazing. And that's and you've produced all these books, published all these books. I've read most of them, like really empowering, particularly the ones for the kids. What was it? Love you, love me. Like, yeah. That was so good. So um, we'll we'll put a link in down the bottom when we post this of how people can get in hold with in touch with you because it's time for us to step up. And I think one topic we'll have to make is responsibility and ownership and have you back on because that's something we're <laughs> passionate about. Love to. But so can I also say about your clothing range? I love your beautiful affirmations that you've got, but you, you've also got your crystals mm. in your pockets. Oh, absolutely. I forgot about that. I've got yeah. the soda light. Thank you for reminding me. So you can carry these with you, like the crystal light. Where is it? It um, enhances intuition, expanding consciousness, develops a strong connection with your own wisdom and spiritual guidance. Like every top comes with its own specific healing uh, mm. chakra crystal and a little pocket down the side and both you and I are right into crystals because mm -hmm. I used to stick these down my boobage and I thought you can't sort of mass produce. Here's a crystal and stick it down your bra. So <laughs> not often they'll fall out. <laughs> That's right. Every time you bend over, like it's hilarious. I would be you know, bending down the supermarket and boom, out comes my magic ones and my crystals. <laughs> and my sister and I have made beautiful um, candles infused yeah. with strange substances. This one's got soda light, but they're, they're chakra candles which have the powerful affirmations mm. with them. So if you're burning these, you're stepping into our choosing to trust, trust and, you know, seeing forward with clarity, focus and purpose about where I'm going in life. So. So, yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Claire, thank you so much for coming and joining us today. I'm going to drop you down to the green Thanks, room. Self. But um, any any last words of wisdom before we go? Uh, believe in yourself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, so, and yeah, create an amazing life full of possibilities and potential. <laughs> nice, nice little segue there <laughs> indeed. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you so much, Claire, for being um, a guest, a feature guest on Finding Your Way with Sally Eslin, and we look forward to catching up Lovely. with you again when we talk about responsibility and ownership. And uh, good luck mm -hmm. with the sprays. Everybody reach out and try them because they are amazing. Mm -hmm. Here's my clarity and focus. It helps me get through the day mm -hmm. for sure. I have the plethora of your sprays and uh, just so proud of you. So I look forward yeah. to seeing you again, Claire, and uh, I'm going to drop you down as I wind up here. Fantastic. So um, there we go. So that was a really fascinating conversation. So, yeah, Finding Your Way with Sally Eslin is next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time and Thursday at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, look, it's all about trusting that inner GPS, listen to that little guidance and, or niggle inside. And uh, anyway, I look forward to seeing you again next time on Finding Your Way. 
and thank you for joining me today you can learn more about me my empowered clothing products and services at empoweredclothing.com.au make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel sally eslin the holistically fit specialist 